Hello, so this is Brainwasher, and today we're going to talk about combinations and, well, derangement and, and, and some billion things. So, let's talk about, first, we need to talk about permutations. Permutations are real simple. You can, you have an object. And you're gonna pick our objects, but they have a sort of order between them. So one, two, and two, one are different things in this permutation. What you're gonna do is you're gonna write as NPR. And when writing NPR, you need to well, how can you calculate NPR? And here's a little thing. N must be bigger or same as the number R. And N P R is N minus R factorial N factorial, which is N N minus one, N minus two, dot dot dot, N minus R plus one. It's the same thing, but uh, uh, but here's a little clue too. This is why n p n. This is reasonable. Okay, so you have n objects. So you have three objects, and you're gonna pick three objects with order that's three factorial. So. Zero factorial is one because when n is when r is n, this is n minus n factorial over n factorial is n factorial over zero factorial, and this is n factorial. So zero factorial should be one. Now let's talk about combinations. Combinations are the same thing. You can pick our objects, but you don't ha sound you, but you don't calculate the orders. One two is same as two one. Now this is n p r divided by r factorial, which is which which is another clue. This and for c. Right, like this combination for C, uh, NCA is equal to NCN minus A for because of this. So, yeah, we know about combinations and permutations, but let's talk some deep stuff. So, we're gonna talk some strange stuff. So, the first one is permutation. With, with repetition. Now, permutation with repetition. It may sound a little strange. This letter, permutation with repetition. This means it's real simple. You have repeti. You just it's like permutation. But you add repetition. It may seem a little hard, but it's real easy. You write as n pi r, and it's equal to n to the r. Yeah, it's real easy. So permutation with repetition is easy, but per combination with repetition. It's hard. Combination with repetition is combination plus repeti repetition. N H R is N plus R minus one C R. The reason for this is because of well, let's think about A plus B plus C equals seven. Now, if you want to find the 
solution of these ABCs, while A is an integer, and B is also an integer, C is also an integer, and A, B, C are this. Now, the solution, how many solutions there are there? The answer is this, but why? Well, let's think about it. A is one multiple of A. So this, let's write it this. This little circle represents one. Zero, zero, one. Circle, circle, circle. So this is a little um, solution. One. Circle, 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 circle. So these are lines, slashes. Slashes are n minus 1, but there are r. So this is the same as picking n minus 1s from n minus 1 plus r, which can be also translated as having this n, n plus r minus 1 and picking our objects. So we get this equation. Now let's talk about some car stuff. The arrangement is a little harder. Let's say there are a class and there are five people. A, B, C, D, E. Now, they are on a mathematical exam and what are you gonna do? The professor has all of the exam papers and each person will gonna correct the papers but not his or hers paper so the calculation well is a little strange there is not a direct calculation but it's a little simple like the Fibonacci series where a n is a n minus one plus a n minus two, the derangement of n objects will we call it as d n or factorial n or d n is well just do like factorial n minus one factorial n n minus 1 plus factorial n minus 2. Now, the reason for this is a little hard, but let's say a and e are taking each, each other. This is case 1. Then b, c, d has a derangement of n minus 2. So, get it? And, well, when a is going to e, but e is going to another person it's the arrangement in minus one and you have a e b c so there are n minus one outcomes of picking who is going to who so you get this equation now another equation is using well the venn diagram but it's real but it is a little not clear because some equations including the wikipedia involve e and sigma and all sorts of things so i'm gonna not talk about the vast them so thank you for watching this episode of brainwasher in the next video i'm gonna talk about the fairmouse little theorem or something which is a, which is well like numbers so subscribe and bye bye